Sansa seems to be aware that Danny is capable of bloodshed if a kingdom doesn't submit, just like Torrin Stark was aware of Aegon's intentions. Why doesn't she bend the knee and instead prefers to start a war, not knowing that Jon will take her side? Torrin had every intention of fighting Aegon, until he saw what the cost would be of defying him. Sansa does have a choice. She is, for now, protected as a blood relation of Jon who sees her emotionally as his sister. Daenerys can threat all she wants, but anything happens to Sansa and she'll have not only Jon to answer to, but the entire North, the Knights of the Vale and the River Lords, as she is connected to the Riverlands through her uncle. That's three of the seven kingdoms. Welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Sansa doesn't prefer to start a war. She would prefer to be left alone by Daenerys. She wants the North's independence, continuing Rob's legacy. Sansa telling Tyrion Jon's true identity is a way of protecting Jon. Had his identity been kept a secret, what's stopping Daenerys from killing him in an accident? The more people know about who Jon really is, the harder it will be for Daenerys to eliminate Jon as a contender for the Iron Throne. It all comes down to why should I submit to this person when this person is threatening to kill me if I don't join her. Sansa hasn't started any wars. She knows exactly what Danny is capable of. She wants independence for the North, but not at the cost of her people's lives. She knows before Danny leaves Winterfell that if Danny wins, the North will never be free. She's not going to use her people and her allies as dragon fodder to fight a war she can't win. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.